be drawing my wee pal, Sir Benjamin Littlefoot. My little dog, he's 13. I didn't think I'd be craving company as much as I am right now. But when you've nothing, when you've no food, you've pond water to drink, my wee stone of Benny, when you've only got that to look forward to, you get a bit lonely. I'm actually starting to, to crave some human company, just someone I can talk to. Horrible. Dreadful. Freezing cold. Cannot wait to get out and try my luck with somewhere else. This is horrible, man. Last night we got some heavy rainstorms and unfortunately we Benny, we Benny's face kinda got washed out. I just feel as though I've spent my time here getting really, really, really lonely. Hungry. Today the plan is to hike on out of here, try and find a new location for a couple of days to see me until merge. I'm hoping there's gonna be some big game as well, more, more than this area. Do a bit of hunting. I, I really don't know what I'm getting into, but I'm willing to put in the effort just to get out of here and experience something new. And then on merge day, on day 11, it's just a nice wee stroll down the river. Got my grass kilt as well. I'm really doing Scotland proud. If I didn't do this hike today, I would have needed to do a similar hike on day 11. And of course, if I waited till day 11, I would have probably expelled more energy. But I've got a long way to go. Jamie is choosing to leave his survival area two days early. Deviating from the direct route that leads to the merge point, he follows the river. Yo, yo. So, I got you a lizard. This looks just like a leopard gecko. Mm -hmm. That's my battle buddy. We watch over our battle buddies. And I'm nervous, considering he's been having vertigo. It's been four days since we had anything to eat. Scorpions and a small lizard aren't enough. What we could do is leave early and look for more resources. I think it's a good call. We want to move out of here as soon as possible and have more an opportunity to thrive versus totally just being resilient and surviving. So you feeling any better? A little bit. Let's uh, look around and see if we can find a couple crabs. Hopefully we got some food before our trip. This is going to take every bit of that energy. We're, we're going to be like... We're going to need it. Heading towards these white cliffs here. Might be some sort of overhang or cave system where we can call shelter. If there's water there, I need a drink. Fast. Holy Another naked person, what's up? Wow. Hey, hey. How we doing? Yeah, I'm good, you? Good. Yeah. This is a surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it is. There's things. Bam, there's another naked person. We didn't expect to see another naked person for a few days. Brandon. Brandon, I'm Jamie. Jamie, nice okay. to meet you. Jessica. Jessica, I'm Hi. Jamie. You got a nice bow. Yeah. Thank you very much. This isn't mine, this is my partner's, oh. Beverly. My partner left in day three, six oh. days I've been alone. Damn. Six days. So it's, it's been lonely. Wow. Poor guy, though. He looks like he's been through the ringer. That was some hike. Yeah. Right? No uh, water. We'll come uh, drink our water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, that'd be really cool if that's all right. Right. Let's go Absolutely. for it. Absolutely. Right. Let's go. More the merrier. Oh, my. It's nice. Just my mouth is so, so dry. That, that hike was honestly unreal. So you're you're on the move to get closer to merge. Yeah, okay. yeah. One of the main reasons why I had to leave was I've been there for six days alone, freezing with no food. Just felt as though I had to get away. And so today I've just walked all the way along here up a massive mountain and then back down. Have you seen any Impala on the way? No, none at all. Any bushback? No. So we do need to move then. 
We're looking to uh, also move. It's been a kind of a struggle bus for us, not getting food, not getting energy. I may have pushed myself a little too far because the past couple of days I've been having vertigo. All right, okay. like getting okay. spins. I think we should honestly move tomorrow. It's really up to you. I'm I'm ready to go. That sounds good. Maybe closer to extraction. Absolutely. Yeah, bring it on. Today we're gonna we're gonna move home, find a new location. On our way to two long. One really tough fight yesterday. Probably a tough fight today, but never give up, never quit. For the three-mile trek to their new campsite, the group will head south past the dangerous baboon caves. They must also navigate their way through dense forest and plains carpeted with bindi, a weed that produces seeds covered with hooked spines that can easily pierce human skin. It's a lot more difficult than, than yesterday's hike. My mouth is unbelievably dry. We're definitely feeling the dehydration because the sun is just scorching. But we're going to get there. Came too far to stop now. I'm definitely feeling the heat. My mouth is dry. There's thorns everywhere. Both of my feet are covered in little thorns. Brandon! Did you go left after the fallen tree? Brandon! Watch yourself. Brandon. Oh, man. Brandon. We're coming around a corner, and I see Brandon all of a sudden sitting down. Something's not OK. I'm not sure. Something's not OK. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. Like spinning. I definitely see symptoms of dehydration, maybe heat exhaustion. I just get this gut instinct that this isn't good. I'm getting a crushing headache. I know you're tough. I know it sucks. By staying here, we're actually jeopardizing and building a secure boma at the, the new location. But right now, I think it's I think it's the right thing to do. We stick as a tribe. One thing I just noticed, too, is both of my ears are ringing really, really loud. I can't feel what he's feeling, but from what I can see, it's getting quite concerning. My headache's getting worse. I feel like I'm going to pass out. As Brendan's condition grows more severe, a producer steps in. What's going on? I don't feel OK. I'm still having blurry vision, but my headache has gotten worse. It went from the back of my head to the front, and now it started to just push into my whole head, and I can feel literally my heart beating in my forehead. Okay. This is the same that was going on the other day. It's just now it's worse, and it's not stopping. Brandon describes vertigo. His head is spinning. He's having trouble keeping his balance. He's feeling weak. He's feeling nauseous. Yeah. I've never felt like this, this close to passing out ever. Serious cases of vertigo can make it impossible to balance or do basic tasks. It can also be a sign of acute medical issues. Intense heat and dehydration can make symptoms worse. At this stage, he needs to rehydrate, he needs to rest, and he needs to allow his body a chance to recover. Or that could have potential long-term consequences. There's no uh, water out here. I want to be here, but ultimately, my health is more important. I'm going to tap, because I genuinely feel like I need to. This isn't worth injuring myself over. OK, we'll get you out of here. Bye. Saying goodbye to Brandon's pretty sad. At the same time, I kind of feel relieved in a sense, because I want him to take care of himself. Goodbye, guys. My spirit will be with you. This isn't my first partner to leave, but this situation is much different. This is definitely not like my partner from Colombia. 
this is a situation out of necessity. Not mad at him at all, and he does not need any haters. I definitely didn't see this, this coming. I thought we were going to be a, a good tribe, and I thought we were going to push through to the end. That's a big blow. I agree. If your body tells you to stop, your body tells you to stop, and it's OK to listen to it. And that's why I'm comfortable walking away. I'm a tough guy, but I'm a dad. I have seven kids, and that's what I need to worry about. Dehydrated and weak, Brandon is unable to fight off the extreme headaches and vertigo. His early tap drops his PSR from a 6.9 to a 5.9.